So I just recently came across this amazing AI called DALI2. Probably you guys heard of it already if you don't live behind the moon. Well, I lived behind the moon and didn't know about it. And I just recently discovered that with that AI, you could just give it raw text, just type something in, I don't know, dinosaur standing inside a forest or a jungle. And that AI tries to create four, four images out of that, just, Im just with his imagination. And so I thought to myself, why don't we use the AI for inspiration? Why don't I use it to, I don't know, get inspiration on how the forest should look, how the dino pose should be, which is actually a pretty good idea because when I'm in Blender and trying to pose a dinosaur or animate it, I usually don't know what pose I should do or how the dinosaur should scream or where it should look at because I don't know how to make it look natural and the AI really helped me with that. So I just typed in Medullosaurus Dilophosaurus standing in the jungle and the AI gave me three amazing looking results which I wanted to recreate in 3D. What I did was I put the image on my second monitor, went on Blender, created a base plane, added a scatter 5, yes I think it's scatter 5, and a scatter 5 on there, did some tweaks with Botanic, and then I got this stunning looking environment where I just included my Dilophosaurus in and there you go, and voila, we got a dinosaur render. Well, the problem there was I usually rendered those results in 1920 by 1920 because I wanted to be able to post that on social media without it looking cropped out or something. So then I had this idea, wait, isn't there a function in DALI where you can expand an image using it? And uh, that's what I use. I just inputted the image in there and then I use the editor, I think it's the DALI2 editor there, I don't know. And you can select a specific area where you want it to be expanded and then you just type in the text, like type in text how the expanded image should look like. And I got stunning results out of it and here are some examples. And now I'm going to show you how to easily do that. So let's go. All right, there we go. So we are now inside DALI, the DALI AI on the website. And as you can see, we have a text input thing here, with, as you saw in my video. And we can upload an image. And let's just shoot for it. Let's upload an image I have made um, for, for this video. Let's just go with this one. Now we have a setting to crop it, like we can crop it out here. Or we can skip the cropping and directly go to the editor. There is when we click on crop, we're gonna we're gonna be able to create variations of that image. So let's quickly click on that. Well, this took longer than expected, but as you can see, these are the four four images it gives as a variation of it. But we don't want that. We want to expand this image. We want this image to be larger. We want to be we want to see more. We want to see more of the jump. So let's upload this image again. There it is and then click on skip cropping and you will automatically be transferred to here so let's click on accept here and now we have this little box that we can drag around i'm gonna select a point of the image like a, a bit on the right of the image make sure when you want to expand the image select like this blue frame should be on the image like a tiny bit so don't don't over don't don't do it like this it should be on it it should be on it and then let's just type in what we want there i'm just basically going to type a jungle and now let's click generate and there we go we get full results again and now we can choose which one we like the most i guess i'm gonna go with this one and then we click accept and now this one is set all right my recording just crashed but let's continue so we have this blue thing here this generation frame and we can place it down here again and now let's expand the image one more let's click on generate and now we get these four results again now let's pick the best one uh, I think I can roll with that one and there we go we can even do this on the left side we can even ex we can even expand the image to the top here let's just do that for you know test and then we get these four results again now we can show it the best one uh, I think I can roll with that one but yeah that's basically how you can create these kind of things we could expand this 
I don't know, in, into infinity, basically. This could go endlessly. So a lot of you people are might just asking yourself, wait, why should I use an AI to expand my image, to make it wider when I just can do it in Blender? Well, that's a good question, and I have a good answer for that. Because setting up these vegetations takes a lot of RAM, takes a lot of CPU, and it lags if you have a fully, like if you have a scene that is full of vegetation. Luckily, this scene isn't that hard to handle, so I could even expand it furthermore. But let's say we have an environment like this. So let's say we have an environment just like this. Oh wait, shade of completion. Nope. Right. Let's say we have an environment just like this. And as you can see, the second I go into the viewport, it, it starts to lag. And that's why, even though even though I'm using a reduction modifiers to make it learn smoother it's way too much vegeta vegetation and now you guys could say yeah you can just hide it and then expand it that way but i don't want that i want it to be real time i want to be able to edit it real time so that's why that's why you, we can use this ai to expand an image without losing that much of computing power without losing that much of render time because we just render a small image with a small resolution 1900 by 9 920 by 920 and then we let the AI expand the image for us and I think this is a pretty great idea and I think AIs will probably help the VFX industry to get creations or VFX artists in general to give them inspirations like like for me I got a lot of inspiration out of this AI I don't know how to, how, how to put this how to sum this up but what I just can say is use this AI to get inspiration if you can't get inspiration from anywhere else. You could just type anything in there, anything you maybe want to do, but you don't know how you should start it. This AI will definitely help you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know I didn't post for a long time and now you just see this lazy video, but I promise you I'm gonna have a great comeback with a great video. So just stay tuned. If you want to stay updated with what I'm doing, just join the Discord. I'm pretty active on there. Or follow me on Instagram or Twitter. So see you in the next video. Have a great day and have fun creating something with this.